Let's go over to the weather board. I want to show you what's left of Tropical Storm Alex right now. Sustained winds at 65 miles an hour moving east northeast at 29 miles an hour. Central pressure still in the 900s. We talked about that over the weekend uh, before it became a tropical storm. Central pressure was uh, over a thousand millibars. It drops below a thousand millibars. You know you got yourself a storm going on, but this is a weak one at best. And the further it moves into the Atlantic into cold water, the weaker it's going to get. But look at some of the tropical storm force winds to up to 73 miles an hour for about a 200 mile radius around Alex at this time. And look at some of the wave heights as it approached Bermuda, 21 to 25 foot waves. Can you imagine 25? foot waves coming into the Tampa Bay area. That's astronomical. All right, so uh, as as Alex continues moving past Bermuda, it will get into the northern Atlantic and hit that cold water, and that will be it for Alex. All right, let's take a look at some of the rainfall totals from the weekend. Look at look at St. Pete, over an inch and a half. Uh, inland, places like Lake Placid, over four inches of rain. Let me go down to South Florida and show you these. Big Cypress Nature Reserve, 10 inches of rain over the weekend. Miami, almost eight inches. Hollywood, Florida, 15 inches of rain. Pompano Beach, 10 inches of rain. So all of this activity was on the east side of the storm, and that's where it dropped. It. But other than Alex, no other tropical development expected in the next five days.